Oakford Lake, and we are trying to find out what causes the brown, dirty tint to it. We are also trying to find out if this lake contains phosphate and nitrate in the water. In previous years, people have been able to swim in this lake, but now the water is becoming dirtier and dirtier each year. If there is phosphate and nitrate in this body of water, this can result in an increased plant growth. We need to figure out how the lake got like this and get it back to the beautiful lake it once was. For the first lab, we are going to filter out a water sample from Oakford Lake and hope that the water will go from dirty to clear. We will be using the following materials. Distilled water, lake water, ring stand, filtration paper, graduated cylinder, beaker, pipettes, and charcoal. We used 40 milliliters of both lake water and distilled water to show a comparison of what the lake water should look like. Just so you are aware, the lake water is on the left of each picture. For the next step, you will pour both the distilled water and lake water into different beakers filled with charcoal and slowly mix. Once the charcoal is mixed into both the waters, slowly pour the mixtures into each funnel. The water will begin to drip through the bottom of the funnel and into the beaker placed at the bottom. After the waters were filtered, the lake water appeared much clearer than it did at first. For the phosphate and nitrate lab, we will be testing the lake water to see if there's any traces of phosphate or nitrate in the water. The materials we used were phosphate, nitrate, beakers, and Lamont testing kits for nitrate and phosphate. Our hypothesis is that we will find nitrate and phosphate in the water due to runoff. To begin our procedure, we tested a positive control of both nitrate and phosphate. We did this so we could know what color the lake water would turn if it contained the element. Nitrate would turn blue, and phosphate would turn a shade of pink. Then we performed the procedure on the Lamont testing kit for nitrate and phosphate. The results showed that the lake water does contain both phosphate and nitrate. To solve our problem of Oakford Lake, the surrounding homes should reduce their amount of fertilizer they use. As long as they reduce their usage of fertilizer, then the water will already become better. But on the other hand, further research is needed to remove the dirt on a large scale because we were only able to clean it on a small scale. But because we were able to clean the lake on a small scale, that means it should be possible to clean the lake on a larger scale. And Oakford Lake can return to the beautiful lake it once was.